Hi guys, Mr. Rice here, and today we're going to work in Microsoft Make Code Arcade, uh, and we're going to learn about variables in our coding. Now, you might have heard the word variables before in math, uh, and they're similar when we're doing computer coding too. Variables are values that we can store in our coding that can change through the gaming session. So numbers that change or can change when we're playing a game uh, are called variables. So things like the score would be a variable um, because the score has to go up as you play, right? That's a constantly changing value. Things like your health, uh, those also change. That would be a variable. So variables are numbers that we want to be able to change throughout our coding. So let's do a little bit of programming here and we'll learn how variables work in Make Code Arcade. So we're gonna start a new project. I'm just gonna call it variables. Uh, so in order to make variables in Arcade, we have to name them first. So you'll notice on the left here, there's a whole section called variables. And then there's nothing inside yet. The only thing in there is make a variable. So let's make our first variable. I'm just gonna call it first number. Now you'll notice I get some blocks and they say first number inside of them. I have first number by itself, set first number to zero and change first number by one. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit, there we go. So I'm gonna grab that set first number two and put it inside of OnStart, and I'll just assign it to 15, but you can name it whatever you want or assign whatever value you want. Let's make a second variable now. So to make a new variable, go make a variable and we'll call it second number. So same deal. Now uh, I have a second number block in there and I can grab set second number, make sure this says second number right there. And I'll name this one to 15 or five. So I have first number set to 15 and I have second number set to five. I'm gonna make one more variable. I'm gonna call it answer. Okay. And let's set answer to now variables are nice because I can do math operations like plus minus times or divide with them. So let's set answer to some math equation with first number and second number. So to do a math equation, click on math. And you can see I have plus minus times divide right there at the top. So let's grab minus. So now instead of zero, I'm gonna put zero minus zero. And I'm going to replace those numbers with my variables. Grab first number and put it inside of zero. There we go. It's a little tricky, make sure it snaps into the right place. And I'm gonna grab second number and put it in the other place. So now instead of a number minus number, I have first number minus second number. Now, my screen still doesn't display anything. To get your simulator to display something, I have to splash my number onto the screen. So I'm gonna go game and splash. Splash means you'll make it pop up on the screen. So put splash in there. Now I'm gonna join some text with my number. I'm just going to say the answer is whatever the answer is. Uh, so to add text and numbers together, click on advanced and go to text. And we want the join block right there. Now put that inside there. And I'm going to say the answer is, and instead of a word here, it was world. I'm gonna click on variables and answer. So now my answer should be set to first number minus second number, which is 15 minus five. And look at that, it says the answer is 10. I can change these to whatever I want. And my answer should change with it. So now I have 29 minus seven, which is 22. 
or I could change it to seven minus 12. The answer is negative five. So now, no matter what I change my original numbers to, my answer will change as well because I used a math equation. So let's change those back to 15 minus five. Okay, well, let's do the same thing again, but let's change the values down below here. So let's click on variables. We're gonna set first number to, let's make first number five now. And let's make second number, set second number to seven. Okay, so now I changed my numbers. I'm also going to change my equation from a minus to a plus. So now my answer will change too. And I'm gonna show you a little trick. If you right click on any of the blocks, right click on your mouse, notice it says duplicate there. That's gonna save you a lot of time here. So now I have that duplicated block, put it down at the bottom. Let's change my minus to a times now. And I need to splash that answer onto the screen. Otherwise it won't show up. So let's duplicate that splash block as well and put it at the bottom. So now I should have two splashes. I should have the answer is 10 for the first one. And if I hit A, now I have the answer is 35 because five times seven is 35. Isn't that cool? So that's how variables work in Make Code Arcade. Go ahead, try them for yourself. See if you can make them work. Uh, and good luck.